Welcome back. Let us visit our animal friends together. If you like them, don't forget to share with friends. The brown-throated sloth is a species of three-toed sloth found in the neotropical realm of Central and South America. It is the most common of the four species of three-toed sloth, and is found in the forests of South and Central America. The head is rounded, with a blunt nose and inconspicuous ears. As with other sloths, the brown-throated sloth has no incisor or canine teeth, and the cheek teeth are simple and peg-like. They have no gallbladder, cecum, or appendix. The brown-throated sloth has grayish-brown to beige color fur over the body, with darker brown fur on the throat, the sides of the face, and the forehead. The face is generally paler in color, with a stripe of very dark fur running beneath the eyes. They sleep 15 to 18 hours every day and are active for only brief periods of time, which may be during either the day or night. Although they can walk along the ground and even swim, they spend most of their lives in the high branches of trees, descending once every eight days or so to defecate in the soil. Large, curved claws and muscles specifically adapted for strength and stamina help them to keep a strong grip on tree branches. They are able to withstand hanging inverted for extended periods of time due to fibrinous adhesions which attach their organs to their lower ribs. Given that feces and urine can account for up to a third of their body weight, this adaptation prevents these organs from pressing on the lungs when hanging upside down, making breathing easier. Adult animals are solitary, except when raising young, and males have been observed to fight one another using their foreclaws. They have a polygynous mating system. Studies of the brown-throated sloth indicate that mating is most common between January and March in at least the northern parts of its range, but this may vary elsewhere. Gestation lasts at least seven months, and the single young is born fully furred and clawed. Young sloths cling to the mother's underside for five months or more, even though they are fully weaned after just four to five weeks. The mammary glands of the females do not store significant quantities of milk as most other mammals do, since the infant sloth remains attached to the nipple at all times, and consumes the milk as soon as it is generated. The young begin to take solid food as early as four days after birth, initially licking particles of food from their mother's mouths. This process apparently allows them to quickly identify edible leaves, and young sloths typically have the same preferences for leaf types as their mothers. Thank you for your visit. And I will be waiting for your next visit. Till then, have fun.